And hello again, B and J students. And guess what? More Toic listening comprehension scripts. So, are you ready to do some more? Let's do it. And you remember how this works. We'll continue with number five. Try to repeat after me when I ask you to, but just try to listen and see what you understand. And I will explain some of the more difficult things as well. So, try to learn something from it too. So, you ready to begin? Let's go. Number five. Hi everyone. Thank you for coming to the open house. What is the open house? What is an open house? Open houses can occur at places like a school where it's open to everyone and they hold events so you can learn more about the school or the, you can meet the teachers. Typically an open house at a school is so parents can come meet the teachers, the principal, and understand or get to know their children's school. So thank you for coming to the open house. Thank you for, thank you for, thank you for giving me a present. Thank you for inviting me to dinner. Thank you for coming to the open house. My name is Paul Jones. I've been an instructor here for 13 years and I'm very enthusiastic about showing you some of the exciting opportunities that our program has to offer. So I've been, have been, have PP, have been an instructor here for 13 years. I've been a doctor for 8 years. I've been a teacher for 20 years. So I've been something something for time so I've been an instructor here for 13 years and I'm very enthusiastic very enthusiastic very excited thrilled I'm very enthusiastic about so enthusiastic about showing so about ing you some of the exciting opportunities that our program has to offer so the program has many opportunities to offer. So this is a school, perhaps a college. So look at the next part here at Green Mountain Tech. So it's a technical college. Tech is short for technical. So here at Green Mountain Technical, here at Green Mountain Tech, we are passionate about, we are passionate about passionate means we are deeply engaged or we love preparing young men and women for the changing workplace so preparing who young men and women for the changing workplace changing workplace the workplace or the work environment changes all the time so Green Mountain Tech is always up to date and they can always prepare young men and women. In our program, you'll not only learn a variety of job specific skills, but you'll also be able to receive high school and even college credit. So in our program, you'll not only not only learn a variety of job specific skills. So yes, you will learn a variety of job specific skills, but you will also learn more. So it implies that you will learn more. Not only implies there's something else, something more. Learn a variety. You remember variety from the previous video it means different. So variety of job specific skills. So skills that you need for a job or career. But you'll also be able to receive high school and even college credit. So receive credit. Receive credit. When you go to high school or college and take a class, you receive credit for that class, for having taken the class. Unlike other secondary institutions, secondary institutions, institutions are places like schools or government offices that have a goal of doing something, creating an idea or promoting promoting some service. 
So unlike other secondary institutions, so a secondary school would be, well, a high school, so a secondary institution would be high school. So perhaps this is a high school, but anyway, it's a place to learn, a school of some sort, institution, school. We offer specific job training in fields such as auto repair, computer science, cosmetology, engineering, digital sound production, and as you'll see in the following informational video, many other exciting and practical subjects. Whew, that's a long sentence, right? So let's break it down a little bit. Unlike other secondary institutions, so unlike, not like, not like, we offer specific job training, so very specific job training, training to help with a particular or specific job in fields, so courses of study, fields of study, an area of study, such as auto repair, so fixing cars, computer science, science of computers, understanding and learning about how computers work, cosmetology, makeup, beauty, hair, engineering, building, buildings, many other things that require engineering and strong math and science skills to successfully build something or large projects digital sound production, so digital sound production like mp3s, we listen to digital music, so producing sounds digitally like on a computer. And as you'll see in the following informational video, following the upcoming, the video you will soon see, informational video, so a video providing more information on the school, the video will tell you about the school and many other exciting so exciting, fun, and practical. Practical means useful, useful subjects. As you watch the video, think about any questions you have. So think about any questions you have. Ah, I have a question, and I'll do my best. I will do my best. Can you repeat that after me? I'll do my best. Means I will try. I will try. I'll do my best. I'll try to answer your questions. I'll try to answer your questions. I'll do my best. It means I will try really hard to answer your questions. I will make a strong effort. Later on this evening, so later in the evening, we'll also have a chance to tour the building. So chance, opportunity, to tour the building. To tour the building means to see. To tour the building is to see the building. So number 13, question number 13, who is the presenter? So the presenter is the person introducing or presenting information, showing, presenting, showing information. So who is the person showing information? A, a teacher. B, a vice president. So vice president is someone who, you have the president and then the vice president. So second in command. Or C, an employer. An employer is someone who hires someone, or D, an engineer. You know what an engineer is. Who is it? Do you remember? Let's go up and see. This one's very long. Okay. He says, my name is Paul Jones. I've been an instructor. Remember, he's an instructor. What is an instructor again? Do you remember what we said? A teacher. So, A, teacher. 14. Who is most likely in attendance? Who is most likely in attendance? So who are the people who are most likely going to this open house? And again, the open house is an opportunity to visit a place of interest and learn about it, learn what it has to offer. So who is most likely in attendance? A, graduate students. B, teachers looking for work. C, people with no college education. D, local mechanics and engineers. Who do you think? Not graduate students. 
not for teachers, because this is showing this open house is meant to inform people about the school's programs, so p perhaps people who want to learn. So who wants to learn? Graduate students? Yes, but not really in this situation. B, teachers looking for work? No. C, people with no college education? Perhaps they want to learn, right? Local mechanics and engineers? No. They already have, they've already learned skills that this school offers. So C, people with no college education, people who have not been to college. And 15, what will they do after the presentation? What will they do after the presentation? So after the instructor or the teacher tells them about the school and its programs, what will the people do? A, attend a sample lecture. So a sample lecture class. B, meet with students. C, walk around the campus. Or D, have coffee and cake. Do you remember? Do you remember what they were going to do? Let's see if I can find it for you. Ah, so remember he says later on this evening, we'll also have a chance to tour the building. So to tour the building means to see the building. So which one of these is most likely tour the building? A, B, or C? C, walk around the campus and see the buildings. Very good. Okay, and we'll continue with number six in the next video. So see you then. Goodbye.